Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This time is going to be another position in another part of the world that we haven't played in before. That is going to be in the Maghreb as Morocco. And this achievement is kind of unusual because instead of, you know, expanding into Iberia, forming Andalusia and exploring the world, what we're actually going to be doing is going south into uh, Africa down here for the achievement, the Sudanese Expedition, where we own all of Niger and Sahil. This is listed as a medium achievement, and it's, you know, shouldn't be that hard to get because all of these guys down here, once we get a Miltech ahead, is going to be very easy. It's just, there's a lot of them. So, oh, let's just jump right in as Morocco and get to it. Alrighty, so uh, basically in 10 years from now, we'll be able to annex all of these guys for free, so we just have to keep them happy. And uh, like I said, we won't have to go up into Iberia at all. So, uh, I mean, we could ally Tunis and, you know, just sit up here doing nothing, but I think I want to actually get a little bit more control over here, maybe ally the Ottomans or the Mamluks, and then just sit in Northern Africa, maybe even chop up the Mamluks a little bit, because we only need, the, like, Africa over here. We don't actually need the uh, uncolonized provinces over here unless they pop or rather they don't have to be full colonies. But I mean, if we get to the point where they are colonized, we will have to take them as well. Uh, same over here. Uh, I did do one test run and Tunis went expansion ideas for some reason. And so they expanded southwards and we're looking to go and conquer air. So you know, I would have had to fight them anyway. So I think I'm just going to try to take all Northern Africa first. And then from here, uh, you know, do what needs to be done. And this gives us a free claim on the Portuguese island, which I would love to, but I don't plan on fighting Portugal, really. They are a lot stronger than us. So uh, I will just have to start spying on Tlemcen and, you know, Tunis afterwards, and then from there, you know, I'm not going to befriend Granada, I'm not going to do really anything else. You can get an alliance with uh, France if you do rival, you know, these guys over in Iberia and try to use France to, you know, attack up there, but like I said, we really don't want anything from Iberia. Maybe I do want to go to war with Portugal, but they're allied to England, they're going to be allied to Castile, so eh, I'd rather stay away from it. Uh, let's also get to efficient tax farming. I, I've never used these before, but should be cool. Yeah, we also get this, the Crisis of the Maghreb, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, global trade power, institution spread, stability cost modifier, like... We're just fine, you know? Allied to Tagurt, so that might be helpful for us. Oh, I didn't realize we start with a reconquest. Interesting. So this first war, it's not too complicated, but uh, most of the wars afterwards, I will be skipping over in this video because they're just gonna be kind of like this. Uh, the ones that I won't be skipping over are the bigger, more complicated ones. But uh, as far as this war goes against uh, Tafilalt, I think it's called, just super simple, super easy, siege everything down. There it is. Ooh, a 4-3-2, but we lose two stability. 19 pretender rebels. I think we'll I think we'll take it. This is a better leader anyway. I should have used my points to boost before we lost the stability. That was a misfire. Alright, so let's separate piece these guys. Let's make you a vassal. And then full annex to Lemchen. Oh! Tunis is losing some uh, land. Let's go. At war with Castile and Portugal separately. Why? Oh, they're allied to... Uh, Granada. So we just wait until next thing we do is 54. We 
annex all of these guys, go to war with Tunis. Not that complicated. And I don't really have a navy to compete with them. 255, that's not bad. That is very much not bad. Ah, it's 54 already. So we can... What we want to do is actually... Annex them all at the same time. That way we don't have the penalty. We can also go to war with Tunis. They have no allies. So let's uh, do it for Mitya. So this war against Tunisia, again, it's not too complicated. We just, you know, build up a bigger army than them. We siege down their forts and, uh, you know, we just pretty much win every single battle. Uh, not really too complicated here. It's just completely overpowering them. They have no allies. And afterwards, we will be taking a lot so we can kind of guarantee that we're the only ones that can continue to conquer them afterwards. All right, how can we cut up Tunis here? I kind of want to take... I mean, I can take that and connect my lands. Kind of let that go uh let me actually check the trade nodes this is all in the tunis trade node anyway um uh, i kind of want tripoli actually but i do want actual cash i could do this this connects my lands together Z. Let's do compromise with the nobility, and that should be quick and easy. I need to, yep, just do that. And now our truce with Tunis is. 68, so, okay, 10 years. The hell is blam banging? Why am I getting... Why am I getting stuff about this guy all the way over here in Malaysia? I'm Morocco. The fuck? Wow. <laughs> England had to release Cornwall and Northumberland after losing a war to random Irish nation. France is going to be super strong. Thank you, baby. Yeah, so... Lions from Fezon? No, I actually want to invade you. I'm waiting until I have enough favors from the Ottomans so I can have them break that alliance with you. And for now, too, now that we are making a lot of money, we just sit, wait, tech up, and we do need to get... Oh, Songhai ate up Timbuktu. So what I'm going to do is when I get there, Admin Tech 5, we're going to take uh, Exploration first because we need a Conquistador to actually invade people down here, which is super annoying. It will take a little bit longer to actually get there, but I mean, we're not competing with anyone. All right, finally, Tech 5. We can get expansion, but we would have to wait to get the colonist anyway. Going exploration, like I said, we're gonna need the uh, the conquistador to explore down here anyway. It just makes things easier. So, gonna be a little bit of delay on our actual mission, but it'll be fine. Like I said, we're gonna have no competition down there. We can take it slow. We can take it easy. It'll be fine. <laughs> There's nothing more gay than being obsessed with women. Yeah. 
So in this second and final war against Tunis, it is just more of the same. I lined up my guys on the borders so I can go straight for their bases, siege down all of their towers. But you will notice uh, in the peace deal that I do make a very tiny mistake, a very small uh, island shaped mistake off the coast of a Tatooine right there. And uh, I only noticed that later in the run, but it doesn't really affect much overall. It's kind of funny though. Alright, Tunis, or Tunis, all eaten up. Now I just have to wait for eating up Fezzam, and then uh, we just go south. And it's going to take a little while to actually get there, but once we get there, it's free. You know it is. Whew, that's a lot to core. Uh, they're just going to war with Genoa? Yeah, sure, dude. Let's see if we can dev the renaissance anywhere more central so we can get it quicker. Uh, let's see. Cheapest place is Tangiers, which uh, already has it or is already uh, getting it. Let's see about one of these silk provinces over here that still have 10 autonomy. Or Ron. Let's... Courage development. Yep, cheaper now. And then I'm gonna do it with a lot of manpower. Oops, no. I don't actually have enough points. Songhai is huge. I could take a lot from them, actually. Uh, let's take the improved war taxes. Because it's going to be pretty easy to just use that. I forgot to take this stupid little island from Tunisia. Oh, that's stupid. This is going to be a stupid easy war. I might even make a second thing just to... Alright, let's do... Because we are going to need to promote cultures, the decentralized bureaucracy. And from there, it... Uh, let's build up a secondary army just to siege stuff down. And uh, let's declare this war. They have a lot of allies that... I mean... They're all crap. It's going to be easy. So in this war, I actually way underestimated how strong Songhai was going to be because uh, as it turns out, I'm actually a mill tech behind and their numbers were superior. So after my army gets stack wiped, I have to hire the free company and the grand company to, you know, fix that mistake. And then another thing I don't realize is when my colony gets occupied, the colonist goes away. It doesn't keep colonizing. So... I neglected to actually refill the colonists there, so the colonization is just super, super slow. We have to walk through all of this fog of war, and it is probably the most difficult war out of all of them throughout this uh, campaign, mostly because of that underestimation, and I was just not ready for it. But you can see, you know, once we do get it going, I can even go back and deal with rebels, all of these other army stacks just melt in our wake there's really nothing they can do and i do just try to get out of this war quickly so we can go into the next one against these central african powers i can demand places i haven't seen in a peace deal question mark i can I can demand land that I don't actually have eyes on. That's interesting. And I do have to go all the way down here anyway. It's gonna be a weird uh, octopus looking thing. Just so I can get borders with other people, but woo! Most of that is Sahara Desert. Alright, let's actually get rid of... 
Those guys save some money. Back up. Spy on Jenny. Uh, Because I do need pretty much everything. Not everything on the coastline, but the coastline will help us with the trade. So we'll, we, we may as well get everything down here. It's really unusual how the uh, achievement kind of shows us that we don't need everything down here. But we may as well get everything down here, you know? Oh, we can start a golden era. That'll be good. Uh, Justified Wars will stop us from getting too much aggressive expansion down here, so that'll be fine. I My claim ran out on them, so I have to spy and get a claim on them. These guys have no allies, so that is cool. Finally got that colony too, so now we can uh, colonize over here, which is a piece of land that we do need. Can't full annex them. Super annoying. Leave them with that one fort though. That'll be fine. Because that gets us two gold mines in Bambuk and Bude. I'm gonna have to core them up. Uh, we are almost overextended as well. What kind of allies does Kong have? Oyo, Fara, Gorma, and Yatenga? They're all allied to each other and they're all so fucking annoying, dude. Oh, we're over GovCap. That's probably why we have a shitload of rebels, too. Uh. <laughs> uh, sure, higher developed colonies. Let's also start this golden era before I forget. Now what we can do is... Uh, we want to improve the bomb book, which is... Soninki? Yeah, sure. Soninki and Mali culture. Also Tunisian and Algerian, may as well. And then uh, from there, we can convert them and also increase the gold mines. Let's see. Please. Break your alliance with Fazan. Now they would. Cool. There we go. They have no allies, so let's declare this war. Pretty sure I could declare on these guys right now. They're allied to Kabu. I don't know where those guys are. Oh, over there. Yeah, I could do that. Can I full annex? I can, barely. Question is, do I want to full annex? Get a little bit of money? Nah, I don't need money. I need to stop making things states, because that is, uh... Actually tearing me apart financially. Wow, 
Might I, Castina and Nupe? Alright, now I will vassalize these guys. Because we will have to use them to go to war against Ethiopia. Which, that should be free. We could do that immediately, just to get back all this land we need. Uh... We take Castina. We take all of Nupe. And then we'll take all as much of Kanem Bornu as we can. Let's kill you. We'll finally get to uh Tech 7. I definitely want something like uh offensive so we could just Blitz a little bit faster. Um. Alright, so we don't need exploration ideas anymore either. So let's go for something like trade. Leave them with one province. That's so annoying. I could probably do more of that, too, instead of, uh... I could force vassalize and then just eat them up later so I can save myself the... admin points. I'd probably be a lot smarter. Yemen and Mare on. We only need like up to the river over here. So we don't even need that many uh We don't even need that many provinces. So this cleanup should not take too long. Alright, so, we just need this little cove, and then from Ethiopia, I can do money, war reps, and boom. We need to come back over here. It's gonna be really bad if uh, England or anything wanna fight me. And the Ottomans rivaled me. That is very bad. All right. Just have one, two, three, four, five, what, six, maybe seven? Well, technically eight more countries to go to war with. Might be able to f clean this up. Oh, we'd go to war with all of them. And we would still probably outclass them, but I would need all my troops here for that. Alright, whoever I declare war on, it's gonna string everyone together. Except for these guys over here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven countries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let's do it. So this is the air quotes biggest war i've ever fought in my 700 plus hours of uh gameplay and it wasn't even really that difficult because i just walk onto their armies kill them immediately siege down their towers as fast as i can and the thing i have to do in this war is keep everyone sieged down forever basically because you're gonna see later i'm on the brink of you know having 100 plus overextension so i'm thinking oh i'll just eat them up one at a time slowly over and over again and uh you know i'll eat the war exhaustion that'll be fine and you can see how easy this war is for me even though there are a bunch of tiny little stacks running around like i just group up my army siege them down plus this is a good opportunity to continue walking through all that fog of war and it's just a really long annoying war here you can see i have yatenga uh, 
Bonoman, Zazao, all fully occupied. All of their armies are being wiped out. They are putting up peace deals one by one. And we don't actually get the full surrender until uh, very late into this war because we do have full occupation on Yatenga, but... Even they still have, you know, their allies armies running around. You can see I'm getting carpet sieged in the northeast over there. But once I start piecing people out, that's when, you know, their armies start disappearing even quicker. And I'm already running on zero manpower. This was more of a, a tedious war than anything else. Plus, you can see rebels starting to spawn because, as per usual, we're playing in Africa. Rebels will just spawn no matter what because God hates playing in Africa or outside of Europe, rather. So we clean everything up in the end, and you can see I'm starting to, you know, I eat up Farah and Gorma. I actually decide that I am going to uh, eat up Zazao there. You're going to see me in a little bit. I'm going to force vassalize a few of them so I don't have to spend all my uh, mana points to core everything up because you can see I'm only at like 150 right now while I'm moving around my armies, thinking about eating up Bonoman, looking at that uh, overextension. We don't really care about the... Uh, the other thing, the aggressive expansion, because nobody is going to exist afterwards, so that doesn't really matter. But we do still have to deal with overextension, which will spawn more rebels, which will, you know, create more unrest, which spawns a disaster that you're going to see us go through in just a little bit after this war is over. This was the biggest, silliest war I've ever fought, and it was quite simple. The only annoying thing, like I said, is going to be coring everything. We are going to be at like 200% overextension, and it's going to be hell. See, I'm at 54 overextension. I need... I don't need everything from Benin. basically need everything that isn't the coastline, which is kind of annoying because the coastline is strong. In terms of uh, trade node value, but I do need to be a little smart about this. Just a little. I could force vassalize some of these guys too, like I mentioned earlier. Like I can easily force vassalize Wagadagu. Force vassalized Dagbon. Two little force vassals, it's fine. Two strong duchies, Amir's integration. Puts me oh, at almost 100% overextension. It's only three provinces. Ninety nine point two overextension. Twenty four percent, that's fine. Now we can upgrade to an empire, which helps our gov cap. But we're still, uh, doing a lot wrong right now. We are about to go through it. Let's see. Less religious unity than 100% and stability less than zero. Oof. Uh, looks like we're going to have some internal conflicts soon.
I could just white piece them for now. Which is probably going to be the wisest move. <laughs> so I'll just white piece them for now. I'll come back to this in, what, five years? Truce will expire. Oh, I don't care about any of those guys. Yeah, Tenga in 20... Yeah, five years. So we can still do this before the 100-year mark. Uh-oh. Unrest. Not gonna be lower than zero. Legacy Unity, War Exhaustion. Let's lower the War Exhaustion. Overextension is gonna... Eesh. Um, get to positive stability. Creation cost minus 5%, sure. And a gold rush, sure. I'll use that to build some shit. Ah. Internal conflicts aren't even that bad. Just stability cost modifier plus 50%. I'm gonna hold on to my admin points for now just in case I do have to stab up or something. We need this one province, please, and thank you. Oh, we're so close. I need the burgers to like me. Shit. France declared war on Austria. Oh, oh. Austria is going through it right now. Scotland doubled in size. Kildare is going to unify... The Irish island, Spain formed. Will this do it? It does not. I thought it would be an immediate plus 10%, but it's not. Unlucky. Internal conflicts. Dire times are ahead of us. Lose two stability. Peasants and nobles rise up. This is... That's surprisingly very light compared to what I expected. And we can go back to war with Yatenga, but that's not exactly what I want to do. No fucking shot, bro. I'm alt f that. I don't want to get rid of any of these forts because they're all strategically sound, but uh, I guess I can get rid of all the ones down here. Alright, now we can do this last war against Yatenga, and then we just have to wait a few more years to integrate some of these other countries. And then uh, that's the achievement, and... And that's the achievement. All right, we can actually full annex them. Let's go. And uh, with that, now we just have to. Now we just have to wait until we can uh, integrate Wagadugu and Dagbon and GGEZ No Re. And we're making a lot of money. Not bad expansion for a hundred years, and if we really wanted to, we could absolutely go and destroy the Mamluks, but uh, I'm not interested in that. I just want to get this done. My problem in this game is definitely that I like to uh, do too much too fast, and then I get way too far ahead of myself, and I can never recover financially from it. And I really need to learn how to fucking relax.
now we're in the money. See, because like when I do too much too fast, I feel like I'm always on the brink of destroying myself. But if I did all these conquests a lot slower, we would have been making, you know, this 40 gold the entire way through and just, you know, taking it slow. But I mean, I like rushing myself. I like getting things done as fast as possible, especially when it's so simple. It's just conquest, 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 conquest. And there's really no boss monster at the end of it. It's just all these shitty little nations. We can even regain the alliance with the Ottomans. That's nice. Dagbon is annexed. Now we just need this one last country to come into our fold. And that is it. Because again, we don't need anything from the Ivory Coast. All right, there it is. That should be it. Uh... That should be it. What am I missing? What am I missing? I don't even need this province. What am I missing here? This I can't even get. I don't need... I don't even need this province. What, what am I missing? I need these three provinces. I have to colonize them. Oh my god. Alright, so... Take away the trade ideas, go back to the, uh... The ex exploration or expansion, it doesn't matter which. Get out of here, both of you. Oh, wow. that's actually really perfect. Get out of here, both of you. With that. Expansion ideas. They don't need to be fully colonized. We just have to actually have them. Now, oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, gotta remember to read the fine print. Needed these three. And that is it. This sucked only because I make it suck for myself. But that's just how I roll. Would I do it again? Yeah. Uh, this was a boring one, I think. But it is an achievement. And, well, that is how it goes down. So thank you very much for watching this video. What's going to be the next one? I don't know. But uh, it's going to be another pretty decent achievement run. By the time this gets posted, uh, it should be sumo season. So if you want to watch some sumo, be sure to tune into my... Uh, channel twitch.tv slash Leo Dickinson sumo to enjoy some sumo wrestling over there um, There are obviously a lot of things I could have done better a lot of things I could have done to save money in different ways, but uh Overall, this was still a pretty decent run my first time playing in the Maghreb next time. I think I'm gonna Next time next time I think I'm gonna expand into Iberia and that would be much better 
But uh, yeah. It's